throughout 1914 to 1918, over 66,000 Canadians lost their lives in the First World War, and one day after beating Spain 31-5 to open the World Cup in Marcoussi, France, Canada's women's rugby team visited Vimy Ridge to learn more about this national symbol of achievement and sacrifice, and to pay their respects. So we're here to um, check out Vimy Ridge. Uh, we had a tour around some of the tunnels, or the subways, and around the trenches just to see how close everything really was. I'm not fairly tall, and even walking down in the trenches there, they've been expanded, uh, but before they were only a meter wide and two meters tall, and our guide was telling us that there were about a thousand people that waited in there for 36 hours, um, and even on our walk through today, it felt cold and dark and damp, and it was just kind of overwhelming with 25 curls down there, let alone a thousand men. The victory at Vimy Ridge was a significant landmark for the Allies in World War I, and back home in Canada, it united Canadians and brought honor and pride to a young nation. Every time you wear a jersey or you, you see the Canadian flag and you're together, you have to remind yourself of how lucky we are to, to be a part of this country and the fact that Europe, in particular France, has recognized us you know, since uh, 1917, 1916, I think is uh, something that makes us all feel lucky and very, very proud. My grandfather was also here, so for me there's, there's a particular significance and I was lucky to be here in 1991 with a uh, World Cup team so being back with this group reminds me of that. Well my grandpa is 92 now. Um, he was in the World War, Second World War and the Korean War. Being here is kind of a I right, goosebumps. Um, it's a big moment. Uh, he came over for the 60th and the 60th, 65th anniversary, and so he couldn't be here today, but I'm here and I have his um, flag, so I'm gonna get some photos up by the monument. This is his house flag, and now he's retired, so he keeps it at his retirement home, but he gave it to bring with me and my team, so we'd have a little piece of him with us. It, it's been amazing, actually. We're really lucky and fortunate to get this opportunity to come here, um, being such a big piece of Canadian history. Uh, we got to go in, in, in the trenches and in the tunnels and kind of see uh, from line to line where they fought and uh, the underground mines and, and what they created. And uh, I don't think any of this would have been possible without the, the help and generosity of the Canadian Rugby Foundation. So thank you very much.